but our initiative experts are our peer leaders. From the eighth grade, you've chosen four experts who are going to help lead us in this workshop. And I want them to come forward over here. Please, ladies, come forward. And please introduce yourselves to the fifth grade as to who you are and a little bit about yourself. Okay, so let's show them some initiative. I'm Shana Baden, and I like dancing. I'm Aaron Pudaskin, and I like drawing. I'm Kai Hatsunan Logan, and I like to organize. I'm Sarah Steed, and I like to color. Could, who could tell me what self-confidence means? Say again. Believing in yourself. Excellent. Now, what does believing in yourself mean? Um, to, uh, like, have confidence and know that you can do well. Very good. Excellent. What else does believe in yourself mean? To keep on trying. To keep on trying. Excellent. Really good. What does believe in yourself mean? Um, to feel good about yourself and, like, not always be like, oh, I'm not good enough, so I can't do it. This skit is about taking initiative and from this skit you're gonna learn the definition of initiative and the skit is about the following there is a young lady in your class in the eighth grade who unfortunately had an operation and she's in hospital right now and after the operation God willing she's gonna recover she's gonna have to be at home for three weeks to recover from the operation okay so you're discussing that situation of your friend being in hospital. Here is the skit. Listen carefully, ladies. That was so bad. She doesn't have to be able to have. She's holding so much pain. She's probably really lonely. 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 She's probably also, I'm copying my notes. Maybe we can call out tonight to find a good time to visit her. Yeah, good idea. Come on, guys. Okay. So, what does it mean to take initiative? To do something and take responsibility. To do something and take responsibility. Not just to say, oh, how terrible that is, but to do something and take responsibility. So make it strong enough and sturdy enough to be able to stand up without you holding on to it. Let's see how you can do. Let's see. Let's, let, let's let it go. Let's see how it goes. Oh! Oh my gosh. Almost did it. Let's see this one. Let's see this one. Let's see this one over here. Is it working? Is it standing up? You can't hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let, let it go. for. Oh, uh, oh, uh, it's falling over. You cut them smaller and you made it more sturdy that way. Very creative. This group did a very creative job. How's it going over here? Oh, let's see, how's it going? It's a disaster? Oh my gosh, why is it a disaster? <laughs> why is it a disaster? Well, you're trying again? You're being resilient, right? You're trying again, right? You're not giving up. You're going to do it again. Well done. Excellent. Look at this one over here. Beautiful. You cut them small. You made it sturdy. Good thinking. Very creative thinking outside the box. We'll give you more marshmallows. What can you do to make the house stand up using your creative mind and using initiative? What do you think? Let's see if you can do it. You're having a, a house? It's falling over. Your house? It's falling over. Have you ever thought, instead of looking at yourself, why don't you put your sets together and see whether they could lean on each other and stand up? Let's see. Can you ever think about that? What about thinking outside the box and taking initiative and say, you know what? Hi, my neighbor. My house is falling down. My house is falling down. Maybe if you lean them together, Perhaps you can make a big house that could stand up. What do you think? Let's try it. You see, if you only do and look after yourself, maybe it won't work. But what happens when you... Is anybody else working together with your neighbor? Let's see. Can you work together with your neighbor and see if you can support each other? 